Today we will discuss how to control lube oil temperature in a lube oil system. Firstly, we will answer the question, why do we need to control lube oil temperature? Lube oil temperatures above recommended limits cause lower oil viscosity leading to poor lubrication, increased emissions, higher internal leakage, increased wear on bearings and seals, and thermal degradation of seals and other components. Temperatures below the recommended range increase lube oil viscosity leading to poor lubrication, increased wear, poor fuel economy, and higher stress on pumps, valves, fittings, seals, and other components. To avoid the low temperature of the lube oil, we use the heater to heat the lube oil reservoir by steam or by electricity. When the lube oil temperature is low, the heater will start to increase the temperature and stop when the high temperature. To avoid the high temperature of the lube oil, we use a cooler to cool down the lube oil temperature. To control lube oil temperature is stable, we normally use three-way temperature control valves, also known as thermostatic control valves, TCVs, or temperature regulators, that use our self-actuating thermostatic technology to monitor the inlet flow and divert the fluid based on temperature. Cooler fluid will go through the bypass of the valve directly to the reservoir or bypass loop while hot fluid will activate the thermal actuator, causing the internal cartridge to close and forcing the fluid through the system cooler. When the lube oil temperature is increasing, the three-way valve will open more at the cooling side to get more cooling medium to reduce temperature. When the lube oil temperature is decreasing lower than requirement, the three-way valve will open more at the hot side to get more hot medium to increase the temperature. Okay, we already discussed about how to control the lube oil temperature today. If you have any question, please comment below this video. Thank you for watching video.